Hello, this is New Vision TV. I'm Lynn Komjisha. Let's take a look at the news. Prime Minister Dr. Ruhakana Rugunda left for New York, USA on Sunday, 23rd September 2018 to attend the UN General Assembly where he is representing President Yoram Museveni. While in New York, Dr. Rugunda will make a statement to the 73rd session of the General Assembly whose theme is making the United Nations relevant to all people, global leadership and shared responsibility for peaceful, equitable and sustainable societies according to a statement issued by Julius Muchungzi, the Prime Minister's communications advisor. Speaking before departure, Prime Minister Rugunda said, Uganda considers this UN General Assembly session an important milestone in the consolidation of international efforts to promote equitable and sustainable development as well as uh, addressing peace and security challenges across the globe. He said during the session that Uganda will continue supporting and raising uh, the profile of regional peace and security initiatives that are championed by President Museveni and other regional leaders under the auspices of IGAD. East African Community and African Union to pacify the region, especially in Somalia and South Sudan. Moving on, Chadundu East Member of Parliament Robert Chaglani has called for tolerance. He gave the advice while addressing a congregation at his home parish church, Our Lady of Good Counsel in Gayaza. After the Mass, which was led by the parish priest, Reverend Father Jude Makanga, Bobby One said everyone needs to pick lessons from any situation that occurs in their lives. <laughs> Victims of the fracas during the Arab municipality by election in August included Yasin Kawoya, who was Chaglan's part time driver. Father Makanga lashed out at security organs, which he said should penalize their personnel who are found guilty of torture. He urged leaders to avoid classifying colors in terms of political parties. <laughs> In sports news, Ronald Otile continued to thrill the local golfing fraternity as he matched his third Uganda Open title at the Entebbe course on Saturday. As he celebrated his 23rd birthday, Otile beat Kenya's John Karichu by a stroke in another thrilling dramatic and Navi finished the Castle Light sponsored tournament to win his third Uganda Open title and joining Stephen Birunji and Deo Akope who won it three times before since 1997. Legendary golfer Sadi Onito, RIP, is arguably Uganda's greatest golfer of all time, having won the event a record 12 times, a feat he achieved in 20 years from 1976 to 1996. The atmosphere on the entire course was similar to last year's at Chitante, when he then lost Ronald Dugumayo after a three-hole sudden death playoff. Otia returned 285 cross over the four rounds, edging not only Karichu, but also Edwin Mudani, who saved the best for last, producing the best day score of 68 to tie in second place with Karichu with 286 gross each. You're still watching New Vision TV and now for Pearl of Africa series we take a look at Lake Nkugute. It is a crater lake located in Rubilizi district in Bunyaruguru County. Besides its amazing additions to the district, its astonishing Africa-like shape has left many referring to it as Lake Africa. Lake Nkugute is associated with many tales, but what a non-resident will tell you after his or her visit is that Uganda is endowed with incredible features and this lake is among them. Lake Nkugute is associated with many tales, but what a non-resident will tell you after his or her visit is that Uganda is endorsed with incredible features, and this lake is among them. An area view clearly shows an African map, but this is Lake Nkugute. <music> this 
This lake is found in Rubirizi district in the western part of Uganda. Unlike other lakes with less vegetation, Ikogute is much blessed with crops, eucalyptus trees, and its water is used for various activities by the locals. Some engage in fishing, not forget farming. The tourists who come here spend most of their time exploring the lake, engaging in hiking, swimming, and sunbathing. Now, settlers have also embraced this locality because of its favorable weather. For more Pile of Africa stories, visit our website, which is www.newvision.co.ug. Our newspaper, The Sunday Vision, is also another home of adventures. So grab your copy every Sunday for Pile of Africa stories. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more of your updates on your mobile, on your desktop, on your tablet. Anywhere on the go by visiting www.newvision.co.ug. I am Lynn Komdisha.